Hi, I'm Joe Vig with JS Vig Construction Company, and welcome back to the Project Green Showroom. In this segment, we're going to talk about CO2 monitors, or it's often referred to as on-demand ventilation. Most of us are familiar with CO, carbon monoxide monitors. We, we keep them where we sleep to keep our family safe. If carbon monoxide levels are too high, an alarm goes off, we're alerted, and we can address the problem. CO2 monitors, such as this one here in the conference room at Project Green, also regulate the output, the amount of CO2 in parts per million. I'm going to breathe on this CO2 monitor right here to give you an example of how it works. My reading right now is 924 parts per million. If I breathe on the CO2 monitor, what you'll see is as it's activated, now I'm well over 1,200 parts per million. This then is tied in to a duct, to a scuttle duct, to introduce more fresh air into our ductwork and ultimately into this conference room. Eventually, what happens is when the conference room is fully occupied and we get the high CO2 reading, we introduce fresh air, create much better air quality, much less grogginess that's typical associated with a large conference or a large assembly, and you improve the overall indoor air quality. There's an added benefit. The added benefit is when the room is empty or the school was empty or whatever area you're using your CO2 monitor, you're able to damper off that fresh air intake so you don't have to pay a lot of money in the form of natural gas or electricity to heat and cool that fresh air that you're introducing into the system. So there's two benefits to CO2 monitors. One is to introduce fresh air into the building on demand when you have a lot of people to avoid choking off the oxygen in the space. And the second benefit is to improve energy efficiency so that when spaces are vacant, we're not pumping a lot of outside fresh air into the space that requires expensive heating and cooling. Thank you.